to fight very hard to have victory. It is simply an area that now does not exist as a vulnerable, destructive area. And do you know that basically this is true in every area of sin? The Bible says, Paul said, Let him that stole steal no more, but let him learn how to work. And in learning how to work, find out what work brings him. It brings him money. It brings him the things that he used to find, think that the only way he could get them was to steal them. Many people feel the only way that they can get a car is steal it. A child feels the only way that I can get that candy is take it. A child feels the only way that I can get that toy is pick it up. The child feels that the only way of acquiring things is through stealing. And you'd be amazed at how many people feel the only way that I can acquire something is through stealing. But Paul said, let him work with his hands. Let him learn how that substance comes to his labor. And then let him do the opposite of stealing. Let him give to those that have need. You see, God will bring you to the place... And if you're given to somebody else, why steal? If you're not going to keep it anyhow, there's not much desire to steal. And if you begin to find the joy that comes from enriching somebody else's life, you're not going to want to take from somebody. And if you listen to what God has to say, then fornication is not a problem. Stealing is not a problem. And we could go on down the list. God has a plan where that lying no longer is a problem in your life. You can speak the truth one to another, begin to love the truth. You can find the joy of truth. You can come to the place where you really appreciate truth. You can walk in righteousness where you don't have to lie, where you don't have to deceive anybody, and you're able to tell the truth and say like Paul, I tell the truth, I lie not, and feel good about it that you're not lying. What I'm trying to say is it doesn't take the power of God supernaturally to cause you today to fight a tremendous battle to keep from failing God, but God has ways of causing the devil to be put out of business in my life and in yours.